Rabbi Kaplan? Somebody asked me, and, and I'm still not sure how this this question came to me. And there was an email that was uh, the reach. I don't have an email, but uh, Yeshua Mayor, what I call our producer, so he got an email. And the one that was signed it was a Leo Kaplan, which is my cousin in Baltimore. And it came through uh, the email of uh, I'm a brand. I still don't understand how that is. It's like the post can say for Shmuel, Vish Bamon or Maseu Bakarma. So <clears throat> this Elliot Kaplan asked me to speak about Ramosha Shapiro. I can understand that Elliot Kaplan asked me to speak about that because he lived in Eretz Yisrael for a time, maybe a year or two, and, and he was a strong chassid of Ramosha Shapiro. He used to go to him and listen. And even when he went back to America, he used to get tapes and listen to him. So I can understand that he asked me to speak about Ramosha Shapiro I was thinking to say to say something, and the truth is that I never was a Tommy to Rav Moshe. I never went to hear him. I never went, but I did hear him uh, maybe twice in Harnov when he came for Shabbosim. He came uh, to for Simchas by his grandchildren. He has a son that lives in Harnov. And actually, I remember Rav Moshe Pir before all these people uh, remember him. I mean, that doesn't really mean too much just because I remember him. That's the Derech B'nai Adam that they talk like that. So um, <clears throat> I remember him when he still wore a short jacket. When he was a Magid Shir in Beis HaTalmud by Rabdov Shvats, and when Rabdov first opened up his yeshiva on Rehov Piska in a little building next to Kultur that the little building doesn't exist anymore, Ramos Shapiro was there together with him. And I remember Ramos Shapiro's father that he used to come to Beit Vigan for Yom Im Tov. I remember him also. Now, I, I, since I didn't go to hear him that much, I ne- never went to him. only heard him when he came to us, to her nerves. So I, I can say a certain akuda about him. And also, I read the things printed from different Talmudim I read from him. Uh, so I had a certain akuda I wanted to talk about. The meanwhile, last night, that means Monday night... Uh, which was, which was, uh, Yud Ches Tevish. So, my son Yaakov either told me the Rabbi and David is going to say a Maimer Lezecher, Rab Moshe Shapiro. So, I went, I went, I heard the second half of it. And the, the Nekuda that he said, I, I wanted to also talk about, and I want to connect the two Nekudas, what Rabbi Yannis and David said, and what I wanted to say. The thing is like this. Um, that there's such a concept that's called Havon of Torah, and it's also called Panimius at Torah. And everything has a Panimius. It's in Betalis that we say Yachloku, it has a Pneumius to it. And the Pneumius has also a Pneumius to that. The Yachloku of Shneimos in Betalus, so that's to say, when there's two equal days, you have to take both into consideration and give it to both of them. Sounds quite simple. But but but, uh, but but we're not interested now in simple or complicated. We're not from, and bechlal we're not from those people that that they puzzle things because of their simplicity. We Baruch Hashem Hashem was if the minatoim, and we understand the mile of the past. But uh, but 
but but that that's the, the, the primitive of the of the thing in in the like this simple level of primitive. Like that means like this that when you have you have a case in in Chazal in a Mishnah. Let's take uh, another time, Pasha, to think that uh, above of us is I mean, the, the way the way it says it is, sure, bore, mava, heaven. The pneumius is causing a chesar moment to the other person. Now, <laughs> you have to know the, the causing, causing, I said. What does it mean, Causing. Causing that above us, Nazikin. They caused it. What happened was, he had a half said he lost moment. Did he lose moment? There's sometimes, there's, well, what's, what's moment? There's Garim the moment. There's moment Mamish. There's Isuri not that you can't do anything with. Moment itself, you have to be done. What moment means? But I bought, uh, and, and what's I bought was Nazikin and all those broken that talk about it. What's it being done about? What's considered causing? The word causing, that's the pneumius of I bought Nazikin. The chitzanius is a shah that walks in the street, that bederech hilucho, as he walks, he kicks something without paying attention. <laughs> Kilo like, by, and, and it's this Hadish here that by a shore there's something called paying attention. He did pay attention. Kavan also lazik. That's called Karen already. That's a different thing. All right, so it comes out. That that even in the simple levels, there's panemius and there's chitzonius, and all the tiurim that the Gemara talks about are always about the chitzon. The Gemara is always talking about the chitzonius of the thing. The svar of it is that's the panemius. Somebody once said to me, where I was learning with with a uh, big Talmud Chacham once, the Gemara in Pesachim in Daf. What is it? Let me just look. The Gemara with the Achbar and the Psachim of Yudom at base. That Achbar went in with Chomet, and then another Achbar went out with Chomet. Do you say it's the same Achbar? You don't say it's the same Achbar. So the Adam Gadol said, it was the Adam Gadol, it was Rabbi Chaim Shalom and Leibovitz, also Zichron and Levrochum. So he said, the Zayda flag zone is Zayda Rabbach, very used to say, ah, the Heilige Gemara, the Holy Gemara. Because it sounds like it's talking about a strange thing of a, my, a mouse went in, a mouse went out. So he said, that's the Holy Gemara, it's talking about a strange thing. Kilo, kilo like Rabbah Ber meant to say, let's not look at the, the, the strangeness of the case. Let's look at the Kedusha ship was there. So, so, and I was a young bacher, and I, I didn't understand too much. I wasn't that smart in those days. So I, but, but this much I did understand, so I said to him, eh, it's dark and strange, but the svaras, the svaras behind it you could use for other things. I mean, who says... The, the case, it's only a case could they to bring out certain swords that are behind the case. So, I mean, so, so you know, well, what do you have to look at the strangeness of the case? Look at the swore behind it. That's what I meant to say. But actually, I'm thinking now that Rabbah Ber also meant the same thing. The Kedusha that's in the Torah, that's the Pneumius, that's the inside of it. What do you care that it's a strange and nowadays? Who could Bechla understand such thing? A mouse went in, a mouse went out. Who knows about mice? And if you do know about mice, you, he, he, it's such a pocket that you, that you do something that there shouldn't be any mice. Anyway, there's such a thing called Pneumius. Now, how do you find the Pneumius? You find it with Omo and your gear. Take a piece of gumor. When I was young, it used to bother me. Is this what I'm going to always be doing? I maybe get me and say, I'm tzach shem fun I remember the first time I learned it, it was exciting. I was, first time I learned it, I was a bocher of 11 years old. And before 11, I learned Bob Metzia. 
Yeah, mainly that's what I learned. And then we started getting, well, a new thing. I mean, we get him in a sayam. For a night, for a night, a new inyonim. It was exciting. Came later, Yeshiva Gitana. Again, I may be getting him in a sayam. Came Yeshiva Gitana. Good, we learned other things. And then again, it came, I may be getting him in a sayam. I start thinking, how many times I have to learn this? It's the same thing over and over again. And the same, I hear the same shirim, and either I understand or I don't understand, and more times I don't understand. So what's the union of going over and over and maybe getting it? Didn't I say, yeah. And we, and, but, but, but what's the MS? The, the MS is the, 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 maybe get him, didn't I say, yeah. If you look at the Pneumius that's in it, the Pneumius is deep, deep out there in self. But how do you reach to it? How do you reach it? How do you get to it? So you get to it, by first of all, by knowing that it's deep, by knowing there's depth in, in this, in this Tzorik Shayama, before I nichtav, before I nechtam. I think about it now. I look at it altogether different. The the before the tzorik shema before I nechtam, before I nechtam. We have to know that's a halacha, that's a chelik at Torah, and Torah is chachmosu shal kadosh baruch. And it's just like he's a ein sof, so his Torah is ein sof. And this before I nechtam and before I nechtam, that that's. It has in it ein sof use. The chokhmah shebaze is belief sof believable. We have to know this when we learn. Just by knowing this, it already you approach it with a whole different approach. I always say the pasuk says, "Magod lo masach Hashem mod omku machshavoyisecha." It's very deep. Ishbar lo yedo. A fool doesn't understand it so deep that a fool doesn't understand. What kind of what kind of talk is that? It's so deep that a fool doesn't understand. It's so deep that a chacham doesn't understand. But what's 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 the hishbarle the chsilo yavin is us? I think that the pshat is, and I think I said this once, and I say it all. Uh, it's one of the things that are margula bepumi that I'm rogil to say. It's so deep, but uh, but uh, each bite, he, he just goes across it and he says, oh, it's simple, and he goes further. He doesn't even see what kind of depth there is over here. He doesn't know that there's depth. that there's depth. The depth itself, we don't expect the Ishbar to know. We don't accept the Ksil to know. But, but, but just know that it's deep, deep, deep. Approach it as with, like you approach something deep. No. Yeah, it's it And finish. That's that's the Ishbar and that's the Ksil. The Chochum. He goes his his approach to it even before he starts learning it. He approaches it with this idea that it's deep, deep, deep. The ains of the befanai nechta, befanai nechta. And 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 I can't be married now to to start going into it. Uh, there's so 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 hayotim midvareno is. That the Chochom has a different, uh, the difference between the Chochom and the Ksil is not just in, in, in the, in the final Maskona what he comes out with. Of course the Chochom comes out with tremendous Chidushim, brilliant Chidushim, and the Ksil comes out with nothing. That's bullshit. But here we're coming to say nothing. The Chacham, when he first learns it, when he first reads the words, in his reading of the words, he reads it different than the Ksil. Uh, Rabbi Kaplan, we're taking a break now. Thank you.